This is the Max Wire. I am Steve Montoy. It's time we look ahead to the biggest games around the country, and we start with a few, and one in Arizona specifically, and that is Mountain Point, who is nationally ranked up against Hamilton. And it's time we bring in our national football editor, Steve Spiewak, to break this down. And Steve, Mountain Point comes in 16th overall in the Max Preps Excellent 25, while Hamilton was a preseason favorite. Is this a game to prove who's best in the state? I think it is, Steve. You mentioned that the teams have kind of flip-flopped. Hamilton began the season ranked number one, but Mountain Point has really come on strong. They're 5-0. and They own a victory against Bishop Gorman. So far, they're the only team to defeat Bishop Gorman, and they are outscoring opponents 264 to 49 on the season. There is plenty of talent on both sides of the ball. They have some key players on the offensive line. It's a complete team. It's an impressive team. It's a team that many people think could run the table and finish as state champions in Arizona. However, Hamilton is the premier power year in and year out in the state of Arizona, and they will not relinquish that title without a fight. Steve's Bell squad is 4-0, but they've really suffered due to injury. A number of their starters and key players have gone out uh, with various injuries over the last two games, and they've won, and they haven't lost it this year. But you can tell that the scores and the way the games are progressing are a lot tighter than I think Husky fans are expecting from this team. But when it comes to a game against Mountain Point, you know the adrenaline's gonna be there. Hamilton will be fired up. And our friend Richard O'Bear over at the Arizona Republic is actually picking Hamilton. So there's so much respect for that program. Despite Mountain Point's hot start, I could easily see Hamilton somehow finding a way to win this game. But I think I'll, I'll go with Mountain Point on the, on the basis that they seem to be healthier and they seem to have the more explosive offense right now. All right, Steve, time to go to Texas now. Two nationally ranked teams, Allen against Capel. And Capel is one team, Steve, that you're pretty much the only one who has them ranked nationally in the top 25. What do you like about Capel first, and then what do you like about Allen? I really like Capel's balance. I thought they had a very good year last year. They were the only team to defeat Allen in 2012 and they returned a nice group of players on both sides of the ball from that team last year. On defense, they're led by their star defensive end, Solomon Thomas, who's looking at a whole bunch of schools, Stanford, Notre Dame, the Texas schools. So he's definitely an elite recruit. They have Haruba, the linebacker. So they're very strong in their front seven. But on offense, I talked to Coach McBride today, and he's very happy with how junior quarterback Skylar Bruneau has emerged. So they have guys that they like on both sides of the ball. They have a two starting running backs from a year ago are back, including Gavin McDaniel, younger brother of former Capel running back Cam McDaniel. So there's a lot to like there, and they've, they've proven it on the field. Like I said, they beat Allen last year, and they're 3-0 this year, including a season-opening victory over Longview. Now, Allen, that's a team that when you talk about big-time Texas football, big-time Class 5A dynasties, you're really looking at Allen lately. This team has been extremely successful under head coach Tom Westerberg. They're the defending Class 5A Division I state champions, and they are the odds-on favorite to repeat, at least up until last week when DeSoto kind of re uh, reemerged and threw their hat into the mix. But when I talked to Capel coach Joe McBride, what he talked about different from Allen this year is how much better quarterback Kyler Murray is. He says he's an elite quarterback and he said he's like a high school Johnny Manziel, which is about as high a praise as you can offer for a dual threat quarterback playing in the prep ranks. So they need to figure out how to contain Kyler Murray. Remember, he only played three quarters last year. When Allen played Capel in 2012, Allen was starting another quarterback and Kyler Murray came in in relief. But this year, Capel is going to have four quarters of Kyler Murray. He's a year older, a year better, and a lot more experience, and he's going to be very difficult to stop. All right, that right there is our national football editor, Steve Spiewak. You can see his picks for all top 10 games right now on the Max Preps homepage. Thanks for joining us here on the Max Wire. I am Steve Montoya, and this is America's Source for high school sports.